When making an investment decision, many people only consider their current financial situation. This is not enough, because both the money you earn and what you do with it vary throughout your life. Your decisions not only impact you today, but also for many years to come. Understanding which stage of life you're in, estimating your future financial needs, spending and saving your money wisely, that's what financial planning is all about. In our earlier podcast about investing and asset classes, you learned that every investment bears a certain level of risk. The most important question you should therefore ask yourself is, can I afford to lose some, or even the entire amount of the money I invest? To answer this question, you have to carefully analyze your personal and financial situation. In other words, you have to define your investor profile. Let's illustrate this with an example. Adelie is 20 and studies finance and has started to try to understand the financial markets, mainly through her coursework and the internet. She's lucky that she will only have a modest student loan to repay at the end of her studies and she has a small amount of savings. She expects to start working in five years, to buy a studio apartment in five to 10 years and to start a family in about 10 years. She benefits from an Erasmus scholarship during her internship and she earns 150 euros per month working at a part-time job. Adelie needs money in the short term to finance her day-to-day -day expenses, but wants to put some money aside to ease her start into the working world and to get a start on saving for her longer term financial goals. She decides to invest 50 euros each month with the money from her student job. Adelie is somewhat averse to risk and does not want to lose any of her savings, but would still like to ensure a modest return on her investments. She thus decides to invest 90% of her savings in a low-risk portfolio of high-grade corporate and government bonds paying annual interest. The remaining 10% she puts into a more aggressive money market fund in order to have some readily available cash to finance her day-to-day -day expenses. Finally, Adelie, like most of us, is not a financial expert. And while she may rely now on family and friends for advice, she can already be thinking about the time that she may need the help of a financial advisor. An advisor helps you determine your investor profile, including your investment goals and time frame and your attitudes to risk. They also help you select what types of investments are appropriate for your investor profile and financial goals. Financial advisors can be in banks, brokerage firms, or in specialist fund distribution companies. Questions to consider when choosing a financial advisor include, is the financial advisor genuinely independent of any providers of financial products that could have influence on his advice? How long have they been working as a financial advisory? Do they give advice on all financial products or just a limited selection? How much do they charge? And how frequent are those charges? An advisor should ensure that the right decisions are made in your best interest.